they're very joyful, warm people, <laughs> but apparently not when it comes to Catholicism. Not with Catholicism. They're very serious. Yeah, you're going to get a spiritually transmitted disease. <laughs> <laughs> is this Good Friday celebration way too extreme or does it just show major dedication to the church? I'm here with comedian Vic Tran, Ronnie's Chang's number one favorite up and coming Asian comedian to look out for. Uh, shout out, Vic. You're subbing in for David today. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm a half Filipino ex-Catholic comedian, so I'm ready to nail this topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, um, we're going to talk about this viral uh, story coming out of the Philippines. It's out of Pampangas. Um, there is a Good Friday Catholic ritual that a lot of people perform annually, and they nail volunteers. People volunteer to do this. And they nail volunteers' hands to the cross to reenact Jesus' crucifixion to show devotion to the Catholic Church. Uh, this has been going on for years. Sometimes there's even a guy in this village that has done it for several years in a row. It's a big event in this part of town. A lot of tourists come and see it. Um, the Catholic Church officials in the Philippines have uh, publicly denounced this and said, hey, guys, we don't condone this. You don't have to do this. This is not necessarily part of the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, Filipinos, you can do other <laughs> things to show your devotion. You can do charity work and things like that. Um, so we're going to talk about it, everybody, from silly to serious. We're not here to judge the Catholic Church, but we are here to just break down this topic. So hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Um, Vic. Interestingly enough, you told me you have seen something like this growing up around Filipino Catholics in Houston. Yeah, yeah. Filipinos, they don't play with Catholicism. I remember <laughs> when I was a kid. Because they're very joyful, warm people, <laughs> yeah. but apparently not when it comes to Catholicism. Not with Catholicism. They're very serious about it. And I remember, uh, yeah, for Good Friday, my grandma, she used to take me to see uh, like the reenactment of the crucifixion. And we would watch people, like, get fake nailed to the cross. And afterwards, we would go into, like, this dim church. And they'd have, like, this big wax Jesus. And we would all have to, like, uh, kiss the feet of Jesus. So you saw people reenact. Like, you saw a Filipino guy reenact the crucifixion. But he was, like, just not nailed. Right, yeah, yeah. No, there's, like, rules here. That you, can't, <laughs> you know, there's, like, regulations here. Yeah, 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 guys. Uh, so the general consensus of... Uh, of what people are seeing is like most people on the internet, and I personally agree, it's like over the top. It's OD. Mm -hmm. Like, right? Like you, you shouldn't have to nail yourself to show devotion to the church. However, there's also some people on the internet that are also like, oh, you know what? Like, you know, I applaud them for their beliefs and taking it to this level. They're clearly showing, <laughs> you know, their their devotion and their, they might be a little dramatic, yeah. but, I, but I like it. So uh, let's talk about it. Um, one thing, two, two things I want to talk about is why it's bad that they're doing this, why they sh probably shouldn't be. And then the other side, seeing it from a different perspective, is why is it not that bad? Right. And we're going to play this game, right? I think most people <laughs> are not participating. You're not volunteering yourself to do this. Yeah, probably not. Not yeah. anytime soon. Um, yeah, but I think even when I asked my... Uh, Filipino pastor friend, I was like, I sent him this story. I was like, yo, man, what do you think about this? I was like, is this like does this show great devotion? He's like, I don't know, man. Listen, man, you can just do worship and do small groups and break bread together and you should just be <laughs> able to sing some songs and pray yeah. and, and that would be good enough. But uh, let's talk about why it's bad and why why maybe uh, they might want to stop doing this, first of all. I think, uh, I guess someone could get seriously hurt, mm -hmm. right? Someone could get an infection from the nails. Yeah, you're going to get a spiritually transmitted disease. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, luckily there's... A lot of Filipino nurses on stand. <laughs> so. uh, also, I think some people feel like it might be kind of self-serving because you're kind of making Easter and the crucifixion about yourself. Like, you want to be yeah. the star of the show. Like, I am Jesus now, so sh let me show you. Like, let me put on this, I guess, like, performance art, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Is that is there some aspect to it? I think so, yeah. It's, it's, you're, you're making it about yourself. You know, you're like the big star of Good Friday. And, yeah. it's like, and also, I think that encourages other people to start participating in more dangerous behavior, more like self-harming behavior. Right, you right. Know? Who knows? Yeah. Like, maybe it's just your hands first, and then people go to either even more extreme lengths, right? Yeah, to absolutely. Show devotion. Yeah, I think I read in that article that, like, this year, eight people nailed themselves to the cross. Right, like, like, people are looking at it like, yo, I want to be the next one. Yeah, exactly. Like, the Bible only had one, and now we have eight just in the Philippines. That's too many. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I would assume that, you know, uh, this guy's, like, pretty excited about it when 
Easter comes around. Like he's looking for <laughs> it's my time to shine. Yeah, because he's probably like, yo, it's it's my turn, you know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I want to look at it from another lens and and ask the question: Why is it not that bad? Mm. Just for the, the exercise sakes, you guys let me know in the comments down below if you've seen anything similar. I guess uh, everybody's a volunteer, so it's consensual. No right. one's forced to do this. It's not like a sacrifice in like the tribal sense, right? Like. Yeah, yeah, that would be evil if they just crowd worked a guy yeah. to get crucified. <laughs> they just pick straws. Yeah. Dang. Um, uh, I guess there is such thing as like a masochistic club, or like people are into like kind of pain to some uh -huh. extent for pleasure. But I don't know if this kind of falls in line with Honestly, it. Honestly, that is almost in line with Catholicism because I feel like in Catholicism, suffering is often equated with like devotion. Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, also, uh, I think it gives people purpose, right? Like we said, like this guy is like telling everybody to come out, like, hey, you know, like this. This year, you know, I'm going to be the guy again. So are you guys going to come out and watch my crucifixion? Yeah, or watch I'd hate me? to be that guy. Sometimes I feel guilty inviting people to my shows, much less my crucifixion. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Also, David Blaine nails his hands all the time. <laughs> so I guess how... I guess the question is, how bad is it? I mean, I think the way he does it is different. He does like a thin yeah. nail. It's not as gruesome. It doesn't bleed. Uh no, but yeah, anyway, David Blaine guys, is a um, hack compared to these guys. Man. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I feel like who's to say whether what they're doing is right or wrong? Because maybe it does create a good sense of community and gives these people a sense of purpose, which is like the point of church. That's interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like there's other ways that they could do community is <laughs> like sure do charity work <laughs> and help other people out. I'm sure they might, they might as well, uh -huh. but this is kind of like one of the, like, I guess the presentations that they put on and it right. just happens to be an extremely painful and gruesome presentation, <laughs> which I, I guess, is it any more different than like watching a UFC fight? People go at each other for the <laughs> for the entertainment of others and you just fight. Is it a sport? This isn't a sport, but it's like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I well, don't know. It's like, this is pretty, I mean, the nail is really, uh, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like people get yeah. beat to a pulp. Yeah. I don't know. Well, like with UFC, you'd be for like entertainment and this is for like, I don't know, like God. Spiritual devotion. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. guess it's for different reasons, but I guess those are questions I'm asking. Either way, I am not, I'm not volunteering for this and nor would I, I, I suggest anybody <laughs> do it. But anyways, guys, uh, you, you let us know in the comments down below. Again, we are not judging the Catholic church as a whole or Christianity. Obviously, you know, like we all grew up going to the church in some respect, but, um, yeah, this might be, this might be a little extreme, but you guys no. let me know, let me know in the comments down below. Shout out to Vic for joining. Check out his Instagram down below. He's a stand up comedian out in New York city. Now, uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next time we out.